Okay, we're going to balance this oxidation reduction reaction. You might notice that iron is going from 2 plus to 3 plus. So it is becoming more positive. That means it's losing an electron. So iron is being oxidized. Um, but in the case, we've got a, a, a um, polyatomic ion here. You've probably never seen this before. We've got dichromate going to the chromium-3 ion. So we need to balance this in a couple of ways. First of all, we've got two chromiums on the left and only one on the right. So that's not balanced. The other problem with this reaction is that the electrons aren't balanced. The charges need to be the same on each side. So you'll notice I've got plus six over here if you add those up, and this adds up to neutral. And so this equation is totally unbalanced. So I'm going to teach you a method of how to balance this equation. And it's got multiple steps. And you just need to remember four words. Atoms, oxygen, hydrogen, and electrons. So we call this the AOHE method. If you remember AOHE, and that, that's actually how I remember it, AOHE, then you'll be able to um, get this reaction. It'll be easy. So first of all, I'm going to break it in half. I'm just going to start with dichromate, this particular ion. And you might look at that and go, I have no idea if that's oxidized or reduced. Um, so, uh, maybe it's very easy for you to see. You'll notice, though, there's no oxygen on the right, and that's a big problem. So, we're going to use the AOHE method, and it'll actually simplify things nicely. So, here's atoms. Um, we're looking at the atoms. They're not balanced. So, I need another chromium over here, 2Cr3+. So now I've balanced the atoms. You say, yes, oxygen hasn't been balanced yet. Well, oxygen's a special case, so we're going to do him next. So I'm going to just keep adding to this equation. And this time I'm going to balance, I'm going to add something to it. I'm going to balance the oxygen. And the way we balance oxygen is we add water molecules, H2O, very common. So you look, you have seven oxygens. If I add seven water molecules, you'll notice that comes out, um, now my oxygens are balanced and my chromiums are balanced. Okay, now we've caused a problem with hydrogen. That's, we've got uh, 14 hydrogens over here. The way we balance that is by adding H+, plus, like uh, as in the case of a strong acid. So I'm going to add 14 hydrogen ions to my dichromate. And I'm just going to copy the rest down. So now oxygen, chromium, hydrogen, and oxygen are all balanced. What the problem now is, uh, I, I don't have a balance of charge. That's going to be my last step, electrons. So if you look, I've got 14 pluses, so 14 plus and two minuses. So I have a total of 12 plus over here. And over here I've got two chrome, uh, three ions, so that's six plus. So you can see I haven't balanced haven't got it balanced. What do I need to do? Well, if I add six electrons over here, that will make the left positive six. And you might wonder, well, how do we add electrons? Is there a bottle of electrons somewhere? And the answer is no. And so then you wonder, where are those electrons coming from? Well, We've now only done half the reaction, right? Because the electrons are going to come from up here with the iron. 
So that's going to be my next step. I picked an, uh, a reaction where it's fairly simple. Uh, only uh, one half of the reaction, the chromium part, um, had where we had to add hydrogens, oxygens, and electrons. So this part's going to be fairly simple so that we can finish this in a decent amount of time. So let's, um, the atoms are balanced. There's no oxygen, so I'm not adding any water in this particular reaction. There's no hydrogen, so really all I have to do is balance out the electrons. And so I'm going to add one electron over here. That'll make this side plus two and this side is plus two. Okay, now we got to add all this together. What's important though is that you notice that the electrons are on opposite sides. The goal is we want electrons to cancel out. We don't want any net electrons. So um, I'm going to now add these two equations together. And what I'm going to need to do is get the uh, electrons to be on opposite sides, as they are, but equal amounts. So if I multiply this whole thing by 6, now you're going to see that I will, I will have 6 iron 2 produces 6 iron 3 plus 6 electrons. Now my electrons are going to cancel out. Now I'm just going to add these two equations together. Uh, and if my electrons um, are the same but on opposite sides, I know I've done this right. So I'm going to get rid of my electrons here and here. And I'm just going to bring everything down. Now a lot of times you might have hydrogen on both sides. So you'll have to cancel it out so that um, you don't have hydrogen on both sides or water on both sides. Okay, so let's add these two together. I'm going to start with 14 hydrogen plus uh, 1 dichromate. And then I'm going to bring down my 6 ferrous ions. Okay, and then I am going to bring down my two chromium-3 ions plus seven water molecules plus six iron-3 ions. Okay, so obviously this is a net ionic equation. What we're missing would be spectator ions. We aren't showing those. We're just showing the ions that react in the solution so all of these have changed. You can go back through and make sure that we have 14 hydrogens on each side, 7 oxygen on each side, 2 chromiums, and 6 irons. And you'll notice that the charges all balance out as well. So this is the way we balance oxidation reduction reactions.